I'm obsessed with myself. Hi guys, welcome to why is my arm up there? What am I doing? Mm. So why the heck is this straw so massive? Hi guys, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is Tuesday the 6th of July. So this morning I had an appointment and I took myself to Waterstones as kind of like a treat. I literally just browsed so I didn't get anything. Um, and then I sat in the cafe and I read like a chapter or two of Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager, which is this like monthly buddy read that I'm doing with a few of my friends. And I am really enjoying this one. So this is a thriller set at this kind of all girls summer camp. And it kind of flips back and forth between 15 years ago when Emma was a 13 year old and she was bunking with these three older girls who then go missing. So that's kind of like the whole mystery of the book. And then we also follow kind of like the present day, which is like the main storyline where Emma is invited back to the camp that's been closed since the disappearance. And she's supposed to be teaching the girls painting, but basically her main motive for going back to somewhere that was literally like really traumatic for her is to basically get answers, to try and figure out what happened to the three girls. And yeah, she's literally started investigating pretty much where I am at now. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely like, kind of over a third of the way into the book already. I just love that it's a summer thriller, like I wish the weather in real life reflected this. Don't know if I've got much to say about this, I just really enjoy Riley Sager's writing and yeah, so glad to be reading another of his books. I did pick up a few books <laughs> from the charity shop, so I went down the street and I was like, I now never miss an opportunity to go in a charity shop and look at the books because you always find the best books in charity shops, I'm not even kidding, like people give away really good books. So the first book that I got which is probably the most impressive find from the charity shop is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia and I think everybody on booktube pretty much knows what this book is about. So it's a feminist reimagining of gothic fantasy and it's set in 1950s Mexico. Oh my god I've had such mixed reviews about this book. People either really really dislike this and give it like one star or they think that the lead up to the end is completely worth it and absolutely fall in love. So yeah, I'm definitely interested to see which side of that I fall on. The next book that I saw is a sequel to a book that I already have but haven't read yet, but it was like too good to pass up. And that is The Archive of the Forgotten by AJ Hackworth. And this is the second book in the Library of the Unwritten series. I think there is going to be a third one or there is already a third one. Um, so yeah, this is just the second book in that series and I actually, I think I prefer this cover to the first cover. So yeah, very happy that I found this. And then this one, which I personally think is the best find, and that is The Great Godden by Meg Rossoff. Rusoff. And I'm pretty sure that I heard Caitlin talk about this, Caitlin from Kate Literature. I think I remember her saying like how much she loved this book. I don't think I've heard anybody else really talk about it. I think it's a literary fiction novel about a family and like young people falling in love and stuff like that and it's set in the summer. Oh my god I'm gonna show you the rain after this but like this is what July should look like and I will show you what my July is looking like. So yeah, how bloody disgusting is that? So my plans for this evening, I'm so excited. My boyfriend a few days ago surprised me with a printer. So my boyfriend got me a printer because he wants me to be able to do journaling properly again. He is so lovely and thoughtful. I'm literally so grateful for him, like I don't deserve him. And this evening I'm just going to be catching up on all the spreads that I wasn't able to do pretty much since January. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I will film some of it for you guys. But yeah, I'm just so excited and I can get back to doing a monthly reading journal setup videos and stuff like that. So yeah, so I think that's just the plan and I will talk to you later. I might listen to an audiobook because I haven't done that in a while while I'm doing it or I'm just gonna like catch up on booktube. We'll see.
Guys, she copied me. <laughs> she copied me. Look at this. I ordered first. <laughs> I ordered first. Oh, I'm obsessed with myself. Guys, guess what Emily just said? Guess. Are you guessing? Okay, no, it wasn't that. Um, <laughs> my sister, who is literally would never lie to me, just said that I remind her of Megan Fox with my new hair, and I agree. <laughs> and you're so modest. Focus on me. Ew. <laughs> anyway, guys, what do you think? Is this like the Megan Fox fantasy? Like, obviously, I could never be her, but like anyway okay whatever i'm gonna stop looking at myself now emily get out of my light get out of my light thank you you better leave that in <laughs> so i dyed my hair today it was a very long process but yeah i'm very happy with it it's not like it was supposed to be like dark cool brown but it's kind of just gone black but whatever so me and emily went to like cafe earlier she's visiting me in london and so we went into one charity shop and that was amazing like it had so many books for a charity shop so many books so i got two books from i think it was british heart foundation i just got like a different edition of wuthering height emily convinced me to get it <laughs> <laughs> don't even lie um yeah so emily convinced me like she made me Katie! <laughs> yeah it has like the most beautiful coat on the back whatever our souls are made of his and mine are the same so obviously like you probably heard that before it's a very famous quote from this book but yeah this i don't know why picking up this has made me more excited to read this book so yeah definitely planning on reading this maybe in autumn when it's a bit more like moody um out and about <laughs> and then um i also picked up this book called the chalk man and like what drew me to it was the spine that is so cool yeah i'll read the blurb because it's really interesting none of us ever agreed on the exact beginning was it when we started drawing the chalk figures or when they started to appear on their own? Was it the terrible accident or when they found the first body? So there were like loads of blurbs in this one and yeah, a lot of them are basically saying like it's terrifying, like must read for horror fans, like a lot of twists, which I love. Oh yeah, genuinely creepy books don't come along very often, but this one can hold its missing head up high, which is kind of like alluding to the prologue. I read the prologue already and yeah, it's definitely very creepy from the beginning. So yeah, very excited to read this one. Emily bought a bunch of books too. Let me just show you. Yeah, so she bought this one at Waterstones and it sounds really interesting. It's Meet Me in Another Life by Catriona Sylvie and I think it's like new. Signed by the author, absolutely beautiful. And Emily, what is it about? It's about these two people who, in every life they live, they <laughs> like meet each other and have some sort of relationship, and the relationship is different every single time. I think the book is basically about them figuring out why they keep meeting in like different lives. Then she got this little weird book called All of My Friends Are Rich by Michael Sarai. And it's about this guy who is completely broke and his bestie has asked him to be her best man he literally can't afford to like do everything that a best man has to do and then like he ends up on grinder and it says a chance encounter reveals that a shortcut to riches does exist but in the end this reckless route may cost him the loved ones he aims to impress and welcome terrible danger so it's like how far will you go to like get money which is like very interesting concept i don't know about it. emily's gonna have to tell us what she thinks when she gets around to it and then she also got panic which is now a tv show so a lot of you will probably know of this um tabitha told me about this book i don't know if i'm like too interested in reading it to be fair but emily's gonna try it out so yeah very exciting um honestly i can't go into a charity shop nowadays without buying a book it's so bad uh, so yeah we're just getting ready now to go out with our auntie and yeah we're gonna go to like oxford circus and go for greek food which sounds really good hi guys it is sunday basically my mum and my sister left this morning which is obviously really sad and on Tuesday morning Jodie's getting here so yeah if you didn't know Jodie from Vanilla Moon she's one of my best friends she is coming to stay with me for a few days this week oh my god literally I'm so excited she's gonna be right oh 
she's literally gonna be right here so yeah i've literally just been making the flat like nice for her because tomorrow i'm going to be working like the whole day i think i'm gonna be literally out from like 8 a.m to like 8 p.m um which is really fun i <gasps> i'm so excited for tomorrow yeah so yeah tomorrow's gonna be like such a long day that obviously i'm gonna be way too tired to do anything although it is literally seven o'clock now um my boyfriend's gone out to watch football um i'm staying in i might watch a little bit of it. i don't really know like i'm not really into football like that but i might watch a little bit just because it's england playing in the finals yeah so i'm gonna go and i will talk to you guys soon Hi guys, oh no, I don't like it, <laughs> I don't like it. I hate doing oh. this in front of other people, I feel so stupid. I never do it in front of Jamshad, you will never. See, so, yeah, I like, do when he goes, he's used to it now. All like, of my vlogs are like when Jamshad's at the gym. Really? Mm -hmm. I used to I wait, I used to make Jamie go out, but now like, he's just used to it and he just yeah. doesn't listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm literally so awkward. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is how I am with Emily. Well, we're both in sync as well doing this all the time. I always do. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Jodie's here at my house and, and it's weird yeah because, it's like, really weird <laughs> yeah how is this happening I went to pick her up from the station a while ago I got my flowers up oh yeah I yeah. got her flowers, got flowers for like I don't know why because really she's not gonna be able to like take them back if I'm just gonna die but... I'll press them in a book oh yeah please yeah I yeah. can press them in a book oh wait you guys will have seen the flowers because I took a little bit of like footage on like the tube to pick Jodie up yeah we've just been chilling and now we've just got ready and we're gonna go out and we're gonna go book shopping, of course. And <laughs> I'll take you guys with me and we're also gonna go to dinner. Jodie's literally only here for like two or three days. So mm -hmm. we're gonna like get up to a lot. I think tomorrow we're meeting up with Tasman. Have you ever met Tasman? No. Oh my God, so you've been friends with time. Tasman for so long as well. I know, I'm really excited though. And it'd be nice cause we're going to I forgot what it's called. Which one? Ave, was it Avo? Ave yeah, we're going to like this Avo avocado bars? place for Something. like brunch. Yeah. And then we're literally going to go to like a bunch of bookshops in Central. I'm so excited. Which is so exciting. And yeah, I think I want to go to Gaze the Word because... I've n see, I've never been there. Yeah. I've literally... I don't even think I've been to like Piccadilly Waterstones or Yeah, we're going to take so. you everywhere. <gasps> foils. Yeah, we need box. to... We're going to go to... Yeah, yeah Dawn, Foils. Um, oh, what's so that one? Um, Hatchards. Yeah, uh, there's another one that's like I can't remember what it's called, but they have like all the like classics and the nice editions. We're literally gonna like have to do a little like pub crawl, but like bookshop crawl. Yes, exactly. Um, but yeah, I think the next few days is gonna be quite fun. Lots of B-roll. Um, <laughs> yeah, literally, I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog, but obviously, like, oh my god, the trains! I just realised the windows been open the whole time. <laughs> Train okay. ASMR. Oh my god, it's Jodie in her natural habitat. <laughs> we've gone into the first shop and we've already picked her books. Literally, like, you can't tell, but I'm smiling right now. Okay, then. Okay, then. Jodie. So I think I'm gonna get this. Don't know how much you can hear me, but yeah, it's a thriller. And I'm getting this one, which is Greek mythology inspired. And I've had my own it for cute and in this. I think this is so pretty though. I it love it. Really it nice gives color. me um little life vibes. Oh, yeah, it's like the writing yeah. is like the city. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna get this one. We're literally just about to meet up with Tasman so that we can go into town. 
Um, and we're gonna get like avocado brunch. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but yeah, and then we're gonna go book shopping. So I'll take you guys along with us. I don't know why it's not focusing. <laughs> There we go. Tasman should like, literally be here any second. Yeah, I'm really excited because it's my first time meeting her as well. Yeah. Pat's already met her once before. Yeah, once. So if she doesn't turn up like we're right this second, I will no. update you guys <laughs> when she does. Hey guys. Woo! Oh my god, this is here. so weird. <laughs> Okay guys, we're in Covent Garden oh, now. I smiled and I just realised you can't even see. <laughs> um, we are going to be getting brunch somewhere here. We just need to find it. Oh, um, I think Tasman's on the case. Hey. <laughs> I am starving. in the horror section. Tasman has disappeared because <laughs> this is such a big shop. But yeah, we've literally been shopping all day. I haven't got any books yet. I've literally just got a dress from Skinny Dirt because I need more summer dresses. But yeah, I haven't got any books yet. I think I'm gonna wait till we get to Waterstones to like the big finale. <laughs> Okay, so Tasman brought this along with her because we talked about it last time and it's the Fairy Loot from Blood and Ash tote bag and she knew that I love from Blood and Ash. Absolutely gorgeous. What an amazing friend, blowing her nose over there. <laughs> um, you can't see my face but I'm literally so happy right now. I've been wanting this book for the longest time and yeah, treated myself. Absolutely beautiful. I wasn't like really that interested in this cover, like I really like the I think it's an American cover, it's like black and red, but I've actually come around to like really liking this one. I think I'm literally gonna chill and like read this now, like start it and like see what it's like.
back from town. I don't know if you call it town, central. By the way, excuse my hair and like, I just got into my PJs as soon as we got back. Um, I look <laughs> literally so bad. Tasman's gone somewhere. <laughs> Tasman's gone away. And away. <laughs> <laughs> basically she got me this fairy loot tote. I think I like showed you this earlier. She bought this specifically for me. So I'm so happy. So I've got like a few books in here and uh, let me see what i've got okay so i showed you this one earlier and i actually like literally read like a few pages in waterstones in piccadilly and that is plain bad heroines by emily m danforth and yeah i'm so happy that i finally got this like i'm so excited i literally I, i'm just like not gonna have space on my shelves for all no, of these books that honestly. is literally like the perfect book for cat like i'm so excited like, it screams literally, you like, thank you yeah. i literally it does sound like my exact sort of thing so like if you didn't know it's basically in the 1900s like early 1900s um these two girls at this like boarding school they fell in love but then they were found like dead and it was just like really mysterious circumstances and then now they are about to film something that I don't know if it's like a TV show or like a movie. Things start happening again, like weird things. Um, so that's all I know about it. I think it's like a thriller or like horror, but yeah, no, it just sounds so good. It says brimming with sly humor and gothic mischief, which yeah, I don't know. It just sounds like really perfect for me. I think I heard it from, I don't know who discovered it first, but like Caitlin, Jamie and Chloe, I think picked this up. And then the other two books I got were, the Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White and I'm gonna read this as part of the Merlin Readathon which me and some of my friends are doing in August, the beginning of August and I think a lot of you guys will <laughs> probably know what this is about. It's just an Arthurian retelling. There's like magic in it, Merlin's in it. Yeah, I'm so um, excited for that. And King Arthur's in it as well. I'm so excited really for this good. one. Yeah, like I don't know, I've had very mixed things. Like a lot of people I know actually didn't like it. The actual premise is really, really good and like this stuff in it's good. It just was like poorly written in my opinion. Yeah. So like it was like three stars for me, like it was enjoyable yeah, yeah. but it could have been like a five star if it was just b better like written and edited. I have a feeling I will really enjoy it, like you yeah, said. Like I as long so. as like I enjoy it, I don't mind. Like if it's badly written, like I've read so many books that yeah. like are badly written that I've like really enjoyed like the time reading it. Like yeah. I don't know. Okay, and the last book I got, I think it's the last book I got, um, is Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez. It has a bi main character and I don't I can't even remember what it's about. I just remember when I first like um, read the synopsis it was like exactly like my sort of book it's like obviously contemporary I think it's romance I don't know it all sounds like very dramatic um and yeah I'm really excited to read this one I might even start this one quite soon um so yeah those are all the books that I got and honestly I did not expect to get that many books and then I thought I would show you my little haul that is not bookish okay so <gasps> Tasman got me my favorite tea and it's like green tea but it's got roasted rice in it which is my absolute favorite green tea um I'm so excited to have this I'm probably gonna have this this evening because it is like so comforting I don't know if you guys have had it but yeah you need to try it if you ever see this in like the supermarket or whatever pick it up and just trust me I don't think Jodie likes it <laughs> yeah like, I, I don't know like, I love it yeah it just reminds me of Japan so much because we had it like on the plane to Japan like it was like the first green tea I had and yeah, I'm so glad. Like we went to Chinatown, like we went into a Chinese supermarket and got um, this stuff. And then I got more like milk tea sachets um, because I like making bubble tea at home. So I also got the black sugar tapioca pearls as well. I think I'm gonna go now because I think our dinner's gonna be here soon as well.
Okay, hi guys, it's the next day and Jodie's going home this evening. Oh <laughs> We're gonna spend the next couple of hours um, in the park. We're gonna like get like some food, like have a little picnic and read because like we haven't really read that much. Yeah. Not <laughs> this morning I just read like the first story in Tomy. Oh, I'm so worried I'm not gonna like it. Like I don't see myself not liking it, but like I'm so worried because like I built it up so much in my head. It was just like really gory. Like it's interesting already. I just hope it gets more like revengey. I don't know if that makes sense, like that's not a word. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna leave this book here for now and maybe pick it back up this evening. Yeah, it's way too heavy to like take with me to the park, I think. So I'm just gonna leave that here for now. And then I'm gonna take like a couple smaller books, like I've got them in my little uh, book sleeve. So I'm going to take The Devil is a Part-Timer, which is just like this really cute, funny uh, manga. And then I'm also gonna take The Great Golden by Meg Rossoff. Yeah, I'm gonna take this as well because this is like a proper summary book, but it's cloudy and it wasn't supposed to be cloudy. So I don't know, we'll see if I'm in the mood for it, but like it's, it seems like really short um, and I'd love to read this this summer. So yeah, I might pick this up as well. Hello. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh my god, what the heck? Should I read this book? Yeah, you did. It's so good. I've just like put like Stardust on in the background, but that's like really annoying. It's doing the um flashy thing. Oh. I'm gonna turn it off actually. Hey guys, so this is my outfit of the day. <laughs> I'm wearing the dress that I got yesterday. It's so cute, and I literally guys I got this for five pounds because it was in like clearance. Oh my god, it's so cute. Like I do feel like I'm dressed for a wedding a little bit. But I think the trainers make it work. <laughs> you look so cute, are you joking? I literally feel like I'm living my Pride and Prejudice fantasy. <laughs> We're at the park and I love my life. Okay, so we're at the park. Um, I I don't know what I'm gonna start first, to be honest. Like, I think I'm gonna like do a little like taste of each book. Like, maybe read a few pages, see what I'm in the mood for. Although, I just don't know why. Ever since I saw this, I was just like, I think this is the one. I don't know. Maybe it's finally time for me to read a Mary H.K. Joy, to be honest. Like, it's been long enough. Also, I really love the pages. Look at me, just take the close up of a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, it is like, Floppy. Oh my god, I love that. It's really nice. Hello. Oh my god, Mommy! Oh. Hello, babies. Oh, the muffin, the muffin, the muffin. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't have the muffin. Oh my god, that was so funny. I love the muffin. <laughs> Hello, coaches. <gasps> Just got some good news. <laughs> guys we're literally at the bus stop now i'm gonna be taking jody back to euston in like central so that she can get her train home i don't want it <laughs> it's gone so fast oh okay our bus is here i'm gonna put my mask on oh my God. we ended up in the um train station bookshop of course one last <laughs> one last bookshop before jody goes I'm we're at jody's train they I'm let me take her because I look at that <laughs> it doesn't even look that big it's, it's like huge, basically it's, so heavy. it's basically twice like two times as big as jody yeah and like three times as heavy as i am like, yeah literally so okay so 
I know, I don't like this. this. I'm gonna help her onto the train with the suitcase. Yeah. But we should and hug now because yeah, we're I know. Oh, no, I don't want to go. Should we try? <laughs> yeah, this is Oh my god, hard. no. You probably next time gonna be seeing me without Jodie. Hi guys, I'm literally just about to go out because Jodie did something naughty and she told me that there's something for me to collect at my local Waterstones. So I'm literally just about to pop out. It's the next day by the way. Jodie left yesterday, which was so sad. Like literally I got back here and I felt empty. Like it was so sad. And I don't know really when we're gonna see each other again because we do live like a few hours away from each other. So yeah, that was really, really sad. But I'm so happy that we got to meet at this point. Like, I cannot wait for me, Jodie and Kay to be together. Like we really, really want to make that happen at some point in the next year. Literally the only thing missing from the last few days was Kay. So yeah, I'm not feeling like too upbeat today. I thought it'd be cute to wrap up this vlog with whatever Jodie's like arranged for me to pick up. I'm literally just gonna pop out now, um, head to my local Waterstones. It should take me like half an hour round trip and this vlog is going up today. So um, yeah, I'll literally end the vlog and show you guys what she got me like i'm literally like what has she done like i'm just trying to think 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 like what it could be but you know i'm just gonna go i will speak to you guys really soon Guys, it is so hot outside, I can't even tell you, like, it is so hot. I was considering going out and, like, sitting on a picnic rug like we did yesterday and, like, reading because, like, I want to get, like, a lot of reading done this weekend. And I kid you not, it is literally, like, hell outside. It's so hot. Anyway, okay, I didn't show you while I was out what I got because I thought I'd, like, wait until I got home so I could sit down and wrap up the vlog. This is one of the most special things that somebody has done for me. So, as I said earlier, Jodie told me to, like, head over to my local Waterstones because I think she'd ordered something for me. And she did it as a little thank you for, like, me hosting her. She really didn't have to do that. Like, honestly, like, I am not the best host. So, Jodie got me the Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I really literally in shock right now like I so I was like watching the guy bring it to me and like at my local branch I don't like some other branches like put them in like bags like the books so I was like okay I might be able to like open it when I get home like I don't know if I can wait but like I literally saw the guy walking towards me with this book and I was just like and then when he gave it to me I was just like trying to contain my excitement because like he probably thought I'd ordered it for myself but anyway I'm so obsessed with the concept of final girls now like ever since reading final girls by Riley Sager like I'm literally obsessed so when I saw this I just knew I had to read it like immediately oh my god how cool is that <laughs> are you joking so when I told Jodie that I had it in my hands um she texted me to look inside because like it doesn't even have a sticker on the front to say it's signed or anything but she told me to look inside are you joking? I don't think I've been more obsessed with anything in my life, if I'm honest. What a way to end the vlog, honestly. Like, how amazing is that? Okay, so I think that's it from me. I think I'm gonna start a weekend reading vlog now, so look out for that in the next few days as well. Um, I'm so sorry that I haven't been uploading that consistently. Like, as you can tell from the last couple of weeks in this vlog, I've been kind of busy. Um, other than what you've seen, obviously I've been working a ton as well. So, and like doing a lot of overtime, yikes. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.